Dave, in the world economy, not just the world economy, in the world, it occurs every three or four generations. As one of as the uh, one of the top military people said to me in a secure meeting the other day, 60, 60 million people died between 1900 and 1946. And uh, since then, we established a liberal world order, and that hadn't happened in a long while. A lot of people died, but nowhere near the chaos. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're going to there's going to be a new world order out there, and we've got to lead it. And we've got to unite the rest of the free world in doing it. So anyway. have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision the UN's founders. So uh, the ultimate goal that these people have in mind is the goal to um, create a one world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers, where, and, and they're doing it in sections. The, the European currency, the euro, and, and the European constitution is one part of it. Now they're trying to do it in America with the North American Union, right? And they want to create a new currency called the Amero, right? And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be uh, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is giving me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so, any, so not, instead of having cash, Anytime you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do, what everything, you everything is in there, you know. And so they they want a one world government, controlled by them, everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips and they control people, and you become a slave. All right, shalom. I want to give our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakal Kodash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and our elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word of truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying and believing in the name of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Hey, this is the brother Kabar Yahweh from GMS Hawaii, coming to you with another lesson. And this lesson is entitled 
uh, after this scripture, this way, uh, Job 18 and 5, it says, The light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. Okay, and you know, you saw in the previous videos or uh, slight videos and screenshots and uh, pictures of these Edomites, you know, especially these particular high level witches and warlocks, you know, who are in these financial sectors and who claim to be uh, rulers of the world, you know, and followers of the of the Edomites, I mean, the, uh, the super elite, the wicked on high. OK, and they have a plan and their plan is to take out uh, the children of Israel. Their plan is also to uh, destroy as many people as they can because their kingdom is coming to an end. But they believe that they're going to get a part two via the so-called NWO, you know, and <clears throat> that's not going to happen. OK, because their light's going to be put out. The wickedness that they prescribe unto the earth is going to be judged. By the judge on high, which is Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai. All right. And when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's coming back to destroy you super elite. He's coming back to enslave you super elite. He's coming back to save the elect of his nation, starting with the 144,000 men, prophets, along with the mixed multitude of men, women, and children, believers in Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai. Okay. And a lot of our people, <clears throat> you know, they don't believe this. And the, the elite, they're they banking on a fact that the vast majority of the world, including the world of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, <clears throat> of on your non-belief. Um, there was a there was a a, a quote I, I can kind of remember it, but um, the elder apostles had mentioned it, and it said basically uh, uh, that the super elite they count on the people's unbelief. You know, they do things so high, so far, that they do things right in front of you and you don't see it. They put it in their movies. They put it in their literature. They put it in pop culture. They put it in your face on the so-called news. You know, they show you that they that they worship Satan. All right. Real quick. This is um, uh, second. This, I think it's second Thessalonians. Just bear with me. Second Thessalonians chapter uh, two. Um. Uh, yep. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse uh, I'll start at three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And right, the falling away was us falling away from our nationality and <clears throat> losing uh the losing the names of the heavenly Father and His Son, uh, being in captivity, our identity being taken away from us as a nation of people, you know, and then it says, and that that man of sin be revealed. And for a long time, he's super elite. They've been hiding behind their, uh, disc discreetness. You know, they've been hiding behind a veil and nobody knew them. That's why Jay Rockefeller said the internet should have never been invented because it exposes them. You know, you know, you would hear it in literature from time to time. Some of the defectors that used to be down with them, but they bank on the fact that the stuff that they do is so outlandish and so to seem so far fetched that even if the people saw it, the people wouldn't believe it. And they bank on that. But this man is being revealed. OK, so that day of the Lord, the day, the return of Yahweh Shai, of the Heavenly Father's only begotten son, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, wasn't going to happen until that man is sent be revealed. And this man is being revealed. Like you saw the picture in the beginning of um, Christina. Lagarde or Christine, Christine Lagarde and on her lapel, she had uh, a 666 a symbol on the left side of her lapel. She also had the uh, the horn of Baphomet on the side of her lapel, you know, showing you where her allegiance is. These super elite, these Edomites and their cronies, they're not uh, they're not worshipers of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. They're worshipers, worshipers of Satan, and they believe that their plan... <laughs> that they dedicated to themselves and to Satan is going to pan out for them, not realizing that Satan worked for Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai on the left-hand side. And he does the will of the Lord. He don't do, he don't, he don't do his own will. Okay. See this thing that we're living in, it's like, a it's like it. this, this world, this, this world that we're living in, it's like a, uh, 
this world that we're living in is actually like a a, a movie, like a sci-fi movie, man. It's a comedy, it's a drama, it's an action, it's a science, it's so-called science fiction, like like a crazy world of Star Wars, man. It's a big fight against good and evil, and who are the good? The elect, okay? The Lord's people. And who are the evil? Esau, Edom, and his cronies, but mainly Esau, Edom. And that's what's going on. See, the people are so enthralled in their life, their everyday lives, they don't think about what's really the bigger picture. All it, everybody's just thinking about surviving and getting over through the day, you know. But they don't see the bigger picture of things happening, like this so-called war in Ukraine. There's a bigger picture behind all of that. That's why it's being pushed on the people so heavy that people are starting to, uh, you know, they want to view Thruton as the uh, as the as the new uh, boogeyman, you know. They're not even talking about the Crown Vic. They're talking about this boogeyman in, in, in Eastern uh, Europe, okay, who's fighting against some more Edomites, you know? And the point of the matter is that they're all working together in conjunction with the super elite and Satan. And so for a long time, their biggest tool was that they were not known to the world. But now this man of sin is being revealed. Esau, Edom. It says the son of perdition. And when you look up that term for perdition, all right, uh, that the word there is apolia, apolia, and it says destroying or utter destruction because that's what the so-called white man is going into. It says a perishing and ruined destruction of money. <laughs> it is money system. And, and his new money system. That's why you saw videos uh, 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 of, of the RFID. Because that's their main capstone of this whole enterprise. This whole deception is to, is to get the world to worship them and their system and their beast system. And that they could have complete control over you. Okay? Via their new money system. Their new monetary system. But that new monetary system is going to be destroyed in the fires and flames of nuclear fire and chariot fire. It says the destruction which consists of eternal misery and hell, which there's no, we're in hell. You know, and you Edomites and you heathen nations, when we get, when the kingdom of heaven is, 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 is established here on earth, you're going to be in hell, man. And we're going to be in our heaven because it's just a rulership. Hell is a condition. Hell is the grave. Heaven is a condition. Heaven is also the spiritual world, where everybody goes to the spirit world, man. Outside of this world that we're in today, this physical world, your spirit goes back to the to the to the one who made it, who gave it, which is Yahweh Shemuel Shah, and everybody rests there. But when you come down here, this is where you live out judgment, and so this man is this man of sin is being revealed. So you see, like I said, you saw pictures of uh, uh, these different presidents, Christine Lagarde. Uh, throwing up the, 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 the either they throw up the horns or the mono uh thing that uh it's like the upside down pyramid that Trump and uh, the German the former German Chancellor used to throw up all the time. Then they showing you their allegiance. Their allegiance is not to Yahweh Shimon Shai, the God of the Bible, the God of the Israelites. They don't believe in that. They believe in Satan. That's why there's a uh, uh, coming. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, Second Thessalonians two and nine. We're in the same script. Uh, same. Just let me just keep on reading. It says, "Uh, uh, Second Thessalonians uh, two and three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a fallen away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High." And that's right. That's how. That's what Esau does, like Elder Apostle. The bar says Esau has a, a, a God complex, man. This man has a God complex. He wants to be a God on the earth. He's trying to use his technology and his uh, deception and his, 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 his wickedness to grant him an eternal kingdom. But he's not going to get that. So he opposes himself and he exalted himself that he's the most high. And we, we, you know, we also say through him painting himself. 
as as the Most High and the Most High Son, the Most High's people, the Heavenly Father's people. He opposes the, He's actually opposing the Most High, and you cannot beat Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And then the the whole the cool thing about it is Esau, you don't even know that you plan this whole plan, this world domination plan that you have, this re world domination plan that you have, the 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 lofty thoughts of getting rid of the Israelites and destroying the vast majority of the people on earth and basically enslaving the whole entire earth. That's not for you, but those thoughts were given to you by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And the scriptures tell us that you're not going to succeed. It says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And, and, and that's what this devil is doing. In the minds of the people, they believe this man is God. He's, he, he, he's messing with the food. He's messing with the water. He's, he's changing times. He's doing everything the scripture said he would do in the end time. This man actually wants to be the most high he's trying to create life in his image but that image of wickedness will not uh will not last from from all of these different kingdoms that ever ex uh, existed from all these great kingdoms even though babylon ancient babylon didn't have the technology or the advances in technology that this devil has today it don't compare to that kingdom but guess what that kingdom fell the greek the roman the Greek, the Roman, the Persian, the Mede kingdom, those are all great kingdoms. They were world powers, man, in their day. And where, where they at? And the annals of history as destroyed, man. And so this devil, he believes that he's going to super he's going to succeed where, where, where they all fell at. But he's going to fall, man. Showing himself that he is God. Remember, ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know. What withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time, and where in his time being that he's being revealed. That's why this devil is putting all these different policies on the internet, on on this information highway that's been exploding for the last uh, um, decade and a half, man. All right, it just exploded, especially with the with the uh, the truth being put out there by way of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the brothers on down. Pushing these videos out, pushing this information out. This information, that's why even now I, I, I wanted to look for a clip that uh, Alex Jones had did with Aaron Russo. And up until like a month or two, you could find it. I tried to find it on YouTube and you can't find it. You can find a whole interview, but that clip, you got to watch the whole interview. But the clip is, is hard to find, you know, because they, they're scrubbing their Internet. They're changing information. You know, why, why are they doing that? They're putting more control over these sites that in which information gets pushed out. Why are they doing that? Because they're trying to stave off the inevitable. And says, and, and we know, and you and now you know what withholder that he might be revealed in his time. And, and, and you're being revealed. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out the way. Right, the Most High kept this man in power. Until he be taken out of the way. And he is about to be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed. See the whole world is going to know. That you Edomites are the devil. Especially super elite. Because you're going to. You're, you're exposed. But the vast the attention of the people is not on you like that. It's on all these little things. It's on surviving. It's on wars. It's on pestilence. It's on, it's on trying to struggle. Trying to make it. You know the people are so dogged down bogged down by their uh, situation that they don't see you super elite maneuvering and playing chess on the chessboard. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And he's doing that by way of us with this truth. Giving you this, this truth, this word. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming because you Edomites, you're going to be destroyed when Yahweh Shai comes. You're not going to survive. Yahweh is not going to go to your UN. He's not going to go to your uh your your G27s and G20 G7s and G20 meetings and sit here and talk to you and close door. Hell no. He's going to destroy you along with your armies and then your super elite that's hiding. He's going to enslave you. And he's going to use the elect of Israel, Lord willing, we be a part of the elect to do so, man. 
even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonder. That's right. And your your um that's that's what you do. You Edomites do. That's why you saw that lapel, and that and it was that picture that inspired me to want to do this lesson. Because now you, you see that their comings and their workings are not after Yahweh Bashim Shai. They're not after righteousness. You see that these these elite, these especially these super elite and their low-level cronies, their uh their coming and their workings is after Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. Because that's what that MOTB is. It's a lying wonder. Oh, this is a better way to, to buy and purchase. That's why now you see all these banks want to use contactless payments. Even if you got a card, all you got to do is tap the card. Because that's going to go, you're going to lose the card, and then you're going to, you're going, they're going to get rid of the card, and you're going to have to get that MOTB, that Karagma, that Karax. And you're going to, that's how you're going to buy. And that's a lying sign and wonder. Oh, look how convenient. You could just walk into a store and take what you want and walk right out. You know? But everything's going to be on a rations. So you're not going to be able to, you know, like people go to the supermarket today and they throw tons of food and items in a cart and they go, they walk, they purchase the items and they walk out. That's not going to be the new way. That's not going to be the new way. You're going to live a slave and a meager life, man, because these devils want you in straight up poverty. It's either you're going to be poor or either you're going to be super rich. And they closing off the doors for you Israelites to ever gain any type of momentum, financial or economic momentum. That's not even going to be, that's going to be a thing of the past if these devils were allowed to rule, you know, people living in uh, congested squalor cities and, and, um, um, and, and just eternal slaves, these mega cities. But that's not going to happen. It says, and with all deceivableness, verse 10, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, right, because they're deceiving the people of, of with unrighteousness, man. The word deceivableness is apate, all right? And it says uh, deceit, deceitfulness, right? They're using that, that MOTB is really deceit, the way they're giving it, the way they pushing it on the people. They're purposely flooding the market with this fiat currency so that they can destroy it. And Christine Lagarde, she's the head. Of, she was the head of the IMF. Now she's like the head of the, something else. In order to get that high, man, you you gotta you gotta meet them Edomites uh, on your knees, man. And you gotta be a hundred percent in with their with their agenda. And she is, just like all these presidents, all these these past and present presidents. They're all with the NWO. That's why they all talk about it, and they use it in their speeches. And then it'll, it'll you know, the NWO sets a fire on a on a on an algorithm. So that's why you'll see the plastic underneath for the video. You'll see, you know, a Wikipedia article about it, and they label you as a a, a CT, a conspiracy nut. But at the end of the day, it's the truth because it's right there in your face. But only those with the eye solve have the ability to see it. Okay, and it says that they might, uh, and, and, and with all deceivableness, deceit of unrighteousness in them, they that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Right, and that's the uh, that's that's two thirds of our people. See, they they are they're they're with all the deceivableness and unrighteousness. They're with this man's system. They believe in these lying wonders and these signs and these comings of at, the workings of at the Satan. So they're going to die because they will not uh, receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. And you hear the love of the truth in which the, the children of Israel might be saved when you see the apostles, the elders, the brothers on down out there preaching, doing these lessons. We're, we're giving it to you, but Jake ignoring it. Our people are ignoring it. You know, the vast majority of our people are ignoring it. Everybody's caught up in this self uh, this self-loathing, this self, uh, uh, it's a word for it, this self, uh, absorbed, self-absorbed mentality, not realizing that there's a bigger thing going on and that salvation is need, needed to be had and, but they don't want it. It says, and for this cause, the most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, right? And this devil, he's a master of delusion and deceit and Two thirds of our people, they they're under that spell because the Most High gave them up to that. All right, 
This is Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Nah, that's not it. It's a lot here. This is Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to the oppressors. And who is the chief oppressor? Esau, Edom. You're the chief oppressor. Woe to them, Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise, that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. And that's what these devils do. They cannot rest. They cannot go to sleep unless they, they devise some evil and wicked plan. But see, they show you this stuff in like superhero movies and stuff like that. But there's always a, 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 a Edomite superhero to, to thwart their plans, you know. But your plan is going to be thwarted by Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah. It says, woe to them that, woe meaning destruction to you, to them that devise iniquity. So I, I just want to see what woe is. And the Hebrew is Hawaya, Ha, Ha, Waya, Ha, Waya, uh, Ah, Alas, 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 Oh, Woe. And you can type in the word woe. I just want to do that. Type in the word woe. The woe for the definition is great sorrow or distress. And that's what's coming to you, Edomites. And especially you, super elite. Great sorrow and, sh and great distress. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. That's right. And that's what they do. They practice all of that evil iniquity because it's in the power of their hand. This man, he could do, he has the ability, he has the, the, the technology, he has the, the economic power to push the world into a righteous state, but he's not going to do that because that's not in him. It says, and, and they covet fields, right? These fields, these different lands, you Edomites, you, you see some natural resources on the land, you're going to take it and you'll use by any means you see. Any land, cultivated field, a home of wild beasts, plain, you know, opposed to sea. So any anywhere in the world that they see something that they want, they covet it and they, they, they take it by violence. And they covet fields and take them by violence. Look at America. America was one big resource hub. You know, it was, it was basically a paradise. And they took it. By violence, man, and houses, and they take them away, right? So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. And that's what you devils have done. And that's what this whole agenda that they're pushing, that's what it's for, is to oppress a man in his house and even a man in his heritage. They've done it to the children of Israel. So now they're taking their plan, their plan worldwide, man. They've done it to us. So now they're going to do it to the whole world and try to. We do it again to us, but as the book of Nahum says, uh, um, uh, affliction shall not rise a second time. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks. Neither shall you go haughtily, for this time is evil, and that evil family is you Edomites. You're the head. Going all the way to the, the, the head tribe of Edom is Amalek. The, the small hatters, man. Starting off with you Rothschilds, man. And you Rockefellers with your Rothschilds. You're just American Rothschilds. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, behold, against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks. So you heathen, you Edomites, you're not going to be able to remove your necks from the, the great time of trouble that's coming to you. Neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. In that day shall one take up a parable against you and lament with a with a doleful lamentation. Let's look at that word for doleful. With a doleful lamentation, the Hebrew word there is nahaya, which is a wailing, lamenting, mourning song. All right? Mourning song. Lamentation and say, we but utterly spoiled. He have changed the portion of my people. How have he removed it from me? Turning away, he have divided our fields. Therefore, thou shalt have none that shall cast a cord by lot in the congregation of the Lord. Prophesy ye not, say they to them that prophesy. Okay, that was it. Salaki. That was it. Let's go to uh, Psalm 64 and 1. Prayer of deliverance from the secret enemies. Because 
you super elite. You're secret. You're the secret enemy. And you want Jake to fight against the low levels, you know, the, the, the non-factors. But it's your plan. We praying that the Lord deliver us from that plan. The whole plan of uh, enslavement via uh, uh, the, the MOTB, the, uh, the, uh, the whole army, uh, the military campaign that you want to prop up against us. Okay, the the uh, the imprisonment and these concentration camps. Okay, the uh, giving us bugs for food. You know, here it is. You got all the power in the world. You got all the access to all the resources resources in the world, and you gonna try to give us some goddamn uh, funny meat, man. And and then we gotta go jump through all kinds of hell and high water to to get this soylent green food that you're trying to put into our bodies, man. It, it, it wasn't like it wasn't bad enough that you created GMOs, gave us food with zero to no nutrients, man, at all in them. And then you try to uh, you poison our water, you poison our air. OK, you made us wage slaves, you took us from chattel slavery to wage slavery. And now you're trying to re, re, like put us in worse, a worse bondage by way of your MOTB. Get the hell out of here, man. That's why the scripture says to the chief musician. Of the Psalm of David, hear my voice, O Most High, O Power, and my prayer, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. And that's you, Edomites, starting off with your super elite and your, your low level cronies. You got a secret counsel, your G7 meetings, your G20 meetings. Your, uh, nobody knows what's going on in those meetings, man. You're not, you're not transparent. What's going on in those those world leader meetings, man? You're not you're not transparent at all. And these 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 Federal Reserve meetings and all these Bilderberg meetings and these secret council of the foreign uh secret council of foreign relations, CFR. Come on, man. Those are all secret councils of the wicked, man. And you're you're the you're from you're the you have a uh you're the workers of iniquity. And you are in an in, in insurrection against Yahweh Bashanel Shai and his people. That word for insurrection is Ragash. Ragash. And it says throng or company. Insurrection. Let's look up that. Let's look up that for insurrection. Salakia. Insurrection. Insurrection is a violent uprising against an authority or government because. We're the real government of the earth. We're the real authority of the earth. And you're and starting off with our power, your how about you now shine? And you're 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 the workers of iniquity. Woe to woe who um, uh, hide me from the secret council of the wicked, from the insurrection of the the workers of iniquity, woe who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, and that's what they do. That's exactly what they do. That they may shoot in the secret at the perfect. Who are the perfect? We are the Israelites. We're the perfect. Starting off with the elect of Israel. We're the perfect. And they shoot these secret shots at us. And, we, you know, so we don't know where they're coming from or who they're coming from. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not, right? And they're not fearing the most high. That's why, they, that's why they're doing these, this work. That's why uh, um, uh, George Bush Sr., was talking about that thousand points of light and his whole speech about the NWO. And he spoke about it proudly. And every president after him spoke about it and still speak about it proudly. And they're all in the same gang, man. Whether they're presidents, secretaries of states, vice presidents, senators, congressmen and women, they all of them Satanists. All of them, all of them people are have nobody's interest but their own. And they think that they're gonna have a spot. In, in, the, in the NWO, but when them super elite don't need you, they're going to get rid of you, man, straight up. A lot of you congressmen and women that have been doing this, especially, especially the people of our nation, hide behind that boule and, and all the other Latin, uh, and all the other boules they have, your Latin boules, your, your Native American boules that they have, because they got, they got them type of people amongst all their nation, man. All our nation, man. Sellouts. 
you, you're going to get thrown out in the garbage, man. It's just that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. They commune laying snares privately, right, because those meetings are not open meetings. Those are all private meetings. There's, nobody knows what's being said in those meetings, man. They say who shall see them. They search out iniquity. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them is and, and their heart is deep, is deep and evil. The most high, but the most high shall shoot at them with an arrow, nuclear missiles. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And that's what's happening. Because you have Edomites that were on it, so-called inside, that broke off. And they're, they're telling, man, you got people, Edomites that's hip to what's going on. And they're speaking. A lot of it is controlled opposition, but you do have those sincere individuals that's really trying to get the people to know what's going on. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of the Heavenly Father, right? When they see their nuclear missiles destroying America, the chariot fire destroying America, all these nations are going to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and they're going to declare the work of the Most High, for they shall wisely consider his doings. The righteous shall be glad, the elect is the righteous shall be glad in Yahweh Bashinah Washai and shall trust in him and all the upright shall glory when this thing go down because the Lord's gonna save us man he's gonna swoop in he's gonna swoop down and save us he's gonna come in when all when it seems like all is lost all is gone the most high through his son Yahweh Bashinah Washai is gonna save his holy elect man Psalms 21 um, uh, Psalms 21 Psalms 21 and 7 It says For the king trusteth in the Lord And through the mercy Of the most high He shall not be moved um, What is this Yep, thine hand shall find all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find all those that hate thee. That's right. You Edomites, you're hiding. Two thirds of our people, you're the enemy. But we're talking about this. This this message is for you, super elite. You're hiding, but the, the hand of the Lord is gonna find you. There's no way in the world. There's nowhere in the world on the earth that you can hide. Your eyes, I mean, your 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 underground military bases cannot hide. In the sight of the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashai. All right. Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out all those that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. That's right. Because you're going to get hit with them nuclear missiles, especially here on American soil. But you super elite. You're going to be preserved for the pits. The Lord shall swallow them up in all his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall destroy their their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth and their seed from among the children of men. So after a thousand long years of hardcore slavery, you Edomites, your you're gonna be your seed is gonna be destroyed from among men. You're not gonna be a factor anymore. For they intended evil against thee, right? And all of that you we explained from the MOTB to the uh, to the destroying of the vast majority of the Israelites to the uh, re-enslavement, all of that shit that you're thinking about, you either might get whole NWO that you're thinking about, the most High is going to get you, man. For they intended evil against thee. Hey, that's right. And that's they, they intended evil against the most High by intending evil against his people. They imagine a mischievous device which they are not able to perform because this, again, when you think you're going to get that new world order, it is not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to, um, uh, be fruitful for you, man. It's not going to be fruitful for you. It says, uh, most likely, it says, uh, it says, uh, thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth, and their seed among, from among the children of men. For they intended evil. This is the reason why you're going to be destroyed. 
ye saw, for they intended evil against thee. They imagine a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. Therefore shalt thou make them turn their back, when thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy strings against the face of them. Be thou exalted, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, in thine own strength, so will we sing in the praises of thy power. That's right. Job 20 and 24 says, um, He shall flee. Um, I'll start at uh, 23. I'll start at uh, 22. In affordance of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. So when you Edomites think that you are in your plan and is in full swing, let's go look at that word for sufficiency in the Hebrew. The word there is sapak, sapak. And it says handy hand clap mockery. Yep, yep, scorning. So because you're gonna be clapping your hands and mocking and scorning when you see the vast majority of the people getting that MOTB. And you think it's all good now. We got them. We got them. Job 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, in the fullness of your mockery and your hand clapping, he shall be in straits. You're gonna be in straits, Esau. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him and that's talking about the israelites that had to be the laborers that were there for wicked is not um um the wicked that you use for the wicked let me see i'm just want to show you and so because people will read that and they think that that's talking about uh esau edom and it's not it's malachi one it says he called them uh the border of wickedness Oh, I actually get the wicked. The wicked. Let me see. That's because I got that as Job 18 up anyway. So that word for wicked, right? The wicked is those two different words. That's Rashai. Rashai is wicked criminal. Guilty one. That's Esau, Edom. And then they have uh, wicked Amal, Aimal, which is a labor, a wretched one, and that's the Israelites. So every hand of the laborer, okay, the wretched one, and which is the Israelites, going back to that scripture, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked, the laborer, shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, that's right, when you're when you, when you're like George Bush said, and when we're successful, and we will be, that's what you said, right? When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, the nuclear missiles, and shall rain in upon him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike through. It is drawn, it cometh out of the body, yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heavens shall reveal his iniquity. The earth shall rise up against him. And that's what's going to happen. The increase of his house shall depart. All them riches, all that wealth, all that shit that you, you know, you prided yourself on. That's going to be gone, man. You're going to be broke, busted, and disgusted out here, man. The increase of his house shall depart, his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. So when all help, when this America is destroyed by nuclear missiles, when Yahweh Shai is uh, uh, triumphant return, it's going to be the same day, same hour. All your wealth and all your power is going to depart, Esau. You're not going to be able to uh, uh, bring up Satan. You're not going to be able to uh, commit any sacrifices. You're not going to be able to make no enchantments. All that shit's going to be gone for you, Esau. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of the wicked man. See, in that word, wicked, the wicked man, this is the portion of the wicked man. See, two different words, Rashai, criminal, Rashai, Rashai, criminal, wicked, guilty one. And that's you, Esau. Yes, you Edomites, man. As you Edomites, okay, says, uh, this is the portion of the wicked man from the Most High. So that destruction is your 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 portion. 
and the heritage appointed unto him by the Most High. So the Most High already appointed you Edomites to destruction. So no matter what you do, you're not going to get another opportunity to rule. You're not going to extend your rulership. Psalms 2 and 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Right? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast their cords away from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Because you Edomites and the rest of you nations think that, oh, you're going to come up next. You're going to have a continuous rulership. You got Moab thinking in next. And they want to have a continuous rulership. You ain't going to have nothing. You're going to be broke, blessed, and disgusted. And how about Shemal Shah is going to laugh at you? Isaiah 24 and 16. From the uttermost parts of the earth, we have heard the song, even glory of, to the righteous. But I said, my leanness, my leanness, woe unto me. The treacherous dealer have dealt treacherously. Yeah, the treacherous dealer have dealt treacherously, very treacherously. Fear the pit and the snare are upon thee. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon thee, O inhabitants of the earth. That's right. That's right. Uh, Amos 9 and 2. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. Right. Because when this thing goes down, these, well, they're already hiding. The super elite, they're already hiding in their bunkers. That's why you haven't seen uh, Jacob Rothschild. You haven't seen Evan the Rothschild, David the Rothschild, Nathan. You ain't seen none of these people. You don't know where they at, where their family members are at. They're hiding, man. They're all hiding. But the scripture says, though they dig into hell, and if you dig into the earth, then shall mine hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, your space stations, uh, thence will I bring them down. You're going to be brought down from there. Though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command a serpent and he shall bite them. And that's Leviathan. So they, and don't, don't think for a minute that these devils don't got no underground, deep underground military bases, underground, uh, uh, under sea, underwater bases and cities don't ever think that because they got it they got it they the ones that's hiding going in, going into space what you think all of these space uh 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 these these space uh adventures is for he's been seeing all these these shuttle flights going back and forth out into the upper atmosphere that's the that's some elite hiding they gonna let you know about it they'll put skeet davidson on there and tell you oh he's gonna go he's gonna go up to the up to the uh to, to the to the to the space trip, and he's gonna come back down. Fuck out of here, man. That's all I'll throw you off, man. But they they all gonna be taken, man. Ecclesiastes ten and eight. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by the sea, the kingdoms is translated from one people to another, and that's how you Edomites got in the power through unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches got by the sea. That's why you're not fit to rule the earth. You're not fit to be uh, on rulers in the earth anymore. So you're going to be taken out and you be replaced with the children of Israel, starting off with the elect of Israel under Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, King David, the, the 12 disciples, the rest of the 12 disciples, and the 144,000 governing body, and as well as the people. Okay. And the last one I got, uh, Proverbs 20 and 20, 24 and 20, so like it, Proverbs 24, 24 and 20, for evildoers have no future or hope in the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. So you so so you can plan your plan all you want. You 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 Edomites, you don't have a future. You have no future hope. And that's what the whole NWO is all about is a future hope for the super elites. With that we'll say shalom and on to the next.